Live from the KATC TV3 studios, this is Acadiana's News Channel at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for choosing Acadiana's News Channel at 6 o'clock. Election Day is, of course, tomorrow, <laughs> and some uh, people out there might be turning to recent polls to help them decide which candidate to vote for. But how accurate are these numbers you're seeing on the Internet? Political analysts say they can be pretty far off. For that reason, many suggest voters form their own opinions. Our Valerie Ponsetti has more on how to do the research to help you choose the candidate for you. Polls can have an effect on the turnout of an election, but often interpreting them can be tricky. Well, the polls have been all over the place this year, and it's been one of the things that's made it really hard to figure out what's going on. Most polls survey about 600 people and can have a 5% margin of error on either side. A poll can fluctuate by up to 10% uh, if you add that together, so it may appear that one candidate is up in one poll and down in another poll, but the actual number probably lies somewhere in between. That's the case in the race for governor. Some polls show David Vitter pulling ahead, and others show Scott Angel as a possible contender. John Bell Edwards is, is almost a sure bet for the runoff. David Vitter is considered to be the favorite, but he may be facing a little bit of a challenge in some of these polls from Scott Angel. Some researchers say what happens at those polls shouldn't have much impact on what happens at these. Voters should put no stock in polls. Voters should go to the polls themselves and cast a ballot for the candidates that they think are the best. And they shouldn't care about whether other people think that they're the best. I mean, that's what a democracy is about, right? In Lafayette, Valerie Ponsetti, KHEC TV3. Now, voters are only given three minutes inside the polling booth, so it's recommended you plan out your ballot before you vote. GoVote.com or the GoVote app will allow you to preview your ballot and even mark your selections before printing a copy. And Lafayette polling sites will also be participating in a Rotary Club Election Day food drive tomorrow. Now, voters can donate non-perishable food items to benefit FoodNet of Acadiana. KETC will be covering the races throughout the night tomorrow. To find out what's on your ballot or to keep track of tomorrow's winners, visit KETC.com slash elections.